Hi hi, welcome back to the Europe Player Universe 1999 again and uh, I should have done Oliver's uh, character uh, event quest thingy but I missed the time window uh, for a few hours so um, today we are continuing with the plot if you want to see uh, the, the character quest if it if it comes back, I will play it. But in the meantime, my cousin did play it, so I leave you the link up in the corner. You can click on it, or I think it pops up when you open the description. I don't remember. <laughs> um, but for today, first of all, I want a level six, so I can play well, the with him. Is in the middle of the room. Hello. I, I got all of the things that I needed for at least inside two, so we'll see the pretty dress first. Confirm. I did not even check what it was. I hope it's pretty. Oh! Turning against the so fire blue. in the cave, we see the true light. Oh damn! It's so pretty. So very pretty, oh my goodness. So it's a leader, the perfect number. Let me see how much I can level. I don't have much. Fuck! That's for a smidge. Let me just... I still have to do the... The dailies, so maybe I can level him just to 20. The room. And Please. 20. <laughs> At least. Uh, can I go to 25? I don't think so. I will try. Ah, for one again. It's fine. It's 24. It's enough, I think. <laughs> and then I'll manage the rest of the levels uh, later. Oh, I have a pool. Not this one. This one. No. Oh, bunny. Y'all want some fries, burgers? No fries for me, thank you. Okay, <laughs> now we are going to chapter four. We're finally continuing it. Ooh, I have a trace. A neat detailed note shows uh, one's longing. Read it. Oh boy, reading already. At the meeting this morning, MP Callaghan, Callaghan? Um, and his great grandson, Dr. Callaghan Jr., submitted the research report on zebra crossing, lemon, snow leopard pattern, and transportation and teletransportation arcanum rituals in joint names. I don't know what this means. <laughs> in the report, they mentioned an innovational point of view on the relations between zebra crossing and the crisis in human consciousness. What is zebra crossing? Oh, zebra maybe in English, sorry, zebra is the Italian pronunciation. Um, and that between horse, herds, uh, and uh, the feelings of levitation. This is all gibberish to me, <laughs> I don't know what I'm reading. <laughs> Supported by a considerable amount of experiment data, they were granted Series D funding of level 1 to 11 by the LC, no, LSCC funding channel. In the same meeting, how do you read this? Ticha? Ticha goose? Uh, sorry, I don't know how to read it. One to seven stable release was displayed, which were given sound of applause in the room for 17.8 seconds. Wow, who was counting? <laughs> there is no doubt that the display has won a great success. It was a pair of artificial lower limbs. Oh, its skin and blood vessels crafted through cell reproduction and monkey brain transplant. Trans plantation and the bones and muscles made uh, with branches white crystal powder woolen threads and golden privets from the southeast of france it is capable of all kind of movement including walking running jumping and gymnastics move moves sorry it could it could even spider walk on the world for 120.7 seconds who is counting all this <laughs> Just as its invention, Mr. Perotti said, centered on the rationality and efficiency we learn from the human civilization when we harness the unstable ever-changing arcanum technology so we can provide real stable help for more people. There is no doubt T whatever his name is, is a good example uh, of LSCC's core philosophy. Yes, this is a Laplace Scientific Computer Center, okay. I think I am going to enjoy working here. Um, Mesmer Jr. Okay. La Place Minute Book um, Volume 1, Page 1. Is this a diary? I had... Okay, this was a seminar in which... Uh, I don't know what about Zebra Crossing and uh, Horse Herd. I, would, I don't know what that was about. Uh, but I understood uh, the part about uh, the artificial limb that was very functional. 
and that's all I understood. <laughs> I don't know if, if the rest is important. I think uh, the important takeaway is that Mesmer likes the the center. I don't remember already how it's called. Okay, let me see. Okay, nothing is changed. So in the castle, what? Where are we? Is this uh, a flashback again? Wait, no, this is Sotheby. I think. Let me see. Harder than the sand, warmer than the stone, another shelter that you can count on. Oh? Another shelter? Hmm, let me see. They didn't even look at the level requirements. Fuck. Where on and earth do these seeds come from? Seeds? They're stuck in the crevices. Can't even get them out with the gravity vacuum cleaner. Wait. It's like they're rooted. Um, 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 she... Unless this is Druvi's room, the seeds were in the... Um, in the... She put seeds in the, in the suitcase before leaving. Where did she put them? It looks like a marble floor. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> they weren't here until a few days ago. I heard some of these seeds were also found in the rehab center, but the staff there got rid of them in no time. Oh, she's putting them everywhere. Bloody hell. It looks like we have to dig them out one by one with our fingers. Gotta get it done before the inspector's here. Inspector? Seed? What seed? Oh, girly, look at her sparkly eyes. <laughs> hmm. Let me take a look. He stands on tiptoe, trying her best to figure out what's happening outside the room through the glass window. No, through the ground glass, sorry. Oh, I can't see anything. I'm so bored. Ground glass, sorry. <laughs> Do I really have to sign the agreement to get out? But I'm disgusted with anyone yet. Oh, baby. A fair lady always thinks it through and reaches an agreement with the adults before she signs any document. You were that so well. Mr. Carson has said that oh. hundreds of times. It must be vital. Oh my. I miss him! <laughs> I miss him! I can't imagine how much you miss him too! <laughs> oh. There comes a disturbance from the other side of the door. Backup! We need backup! Emergency! Ooh. <gasps> Did the seed sprout? A whole forest appeared in room 101. Yes! The material area. Yes! It's growing out of Timekeeper's suitcase! Yes! <laughs> oh. What are you talking about? As I said, it's an emergency. The staff in room 102 and 103 are here to help. A large number of branches came out of the suitcase. They can detect our positions and even attack us on their own. Ooh! She did it to defend the suitcase. She knew they were gonna uh, seize it once she was out. So she made sure they couldn't uh, do anything to it. Did you use Draco Drought? What? Of course not. The room is full of inflammables. The whole floor would be burning now if we did. We used military chainsaws, but it's a drop in the bucket. Fine, I'll go apply for it. Chainsaw is a drop. Wait for me there. Agatha, go help them out. Druvis is really too powerful. <laughs> suitcase this is your sign that you should not see sign anything at all <laughs> could it be it's true this is great arcane skill heck yeah i love the little star <laughs> gods are gone oh, i wish i could see that bizarre scene myself how do we get out now click oh are uh, the branches opening your door <laughs> Lays her eyes on the shut door. The keyhole is rattling. Someone is opening. Is the door shaking? The rattle visibly becomes stronger. Oh, something. Something is coming in. Oh? The lock shakes so violently as if it were wrestling something invisible. Oh, it's the branches! Oh my god! 
the newborn vine ruthlessly pierced through the lock, leaving the latter hanging in the air, like a lifeless grape. Uh, the air smells like fresh plant juice. Wow! So cool! <laughs> it's actually broken! Which means I'm free to go! You're free! <laughs> the door quietly opens, giving a way up to the outside world. The place outside has turned into a vigorous new world. So wow. pretty. The seeds on the ground have all sprouted. Why? Did she do all this? So cool. What an <laughs> Looks better than probably cool. originally was looking. She's baffled as she fiddles with the sprouts on the ground. Hmm. The seeds have the same color as the crevices. I would have missed them if I didn't look carefully. Ooh. Such a slender branch actually broke the lock. How marvelous! Because there were you many. Want to stop the bee's hero. <laughs> Cute. Hey, how did you get out? Oh. Don't worry about <gasps> it. Fight, fight, fight. She's violently pushes. Oh wow! She's violently pushed to the ground. How dare you? My potions are broken! No, your potions! Did you conjure these plants? Stop oh. them now! How, how would she do that? Don't she look like a plant? What are you talking about? She maybe is a plant lady, actually. As uh, irrelevant, I don't remember. She turns around to surprisingly find uh, that the sprouts soaked in, in the potion are visibly getting thicker and stronger. <gasps> Amazing! Oh <laughs> the stars. Quick, quick growth potion for plants. Ooh, so lucky! Twigs thickens into branches, and more new branches come out from them, and new leaves and new sprouts. They crawl forward, forming a tree fortress around Sotheby. What do you think you're doing? Stop them! You did all this. <laughs> I. No way. Gee. <laughs> Fight, fight, fight! <laughs> oh, no fight? I for sure thought fight. Ah, there we go. <laughs> um, let me see. 135. I can use uh, my sweet baby boy. Let's my new sweet says. baby boy. It should be okay. I can't wait anymore. Oh, so pretty. Sorry. New branches and green leaves will shelter you. All allies gain a shield, while plant allies gain one with double the amount. Plant allies? <gasps> what? The woods always... Ah, Travis! Sorry. <clears throat> the woods always welcome their friends to come under their shelter while keeping out the ill-intentioned. This has been their way in the past and it will stay the same in the future. Thank you! Okay, so... Let me see. Uh, buff. You. Single target buff, I see. The buff. And uh, we can do this. We walk in long lines. Oh, my Don't touch my bag! So, okay, two. Let's debuff again. Learn from silence. Ooh. Okay, I see the buff now. <laughs> Incantation might be buffed. I remember it being random. The debuffs and the buffs, maybe too. The moment of silence. The moment of utterance. Until the torch is lit. Oh, he got to, to the ulti, but he doesn't have enough uh, Eureka. Well, he has three. So it was. Wow, that was a lot. <laughs> the buff did something, I think. <laughs> Three. Hmm, he has it already. Well, let's see what he does. Unless I can debuff again. Let me see. Debuff? So I have one more Eureka. I don't remember if this does Eureka points too. But I can buff you. He sure won't do wrong. Is this mass? One target. Okay. This is just to try him out. It's my first time using him. Let me see. Soul has 
so cool. My goodness. Oh my god. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> he isn't even optimized. <laughs> oh, okay. Um Okay. Benefit from reading. Benefit from reading. What does it mean? <laughs> now. Ooh, I unlocked the five. Finally. Or I say, Are these um, more equation of the profit? Okay. Um, let me see. Oh, we are on a tree. It's amazing. Oh, oh, Regulus! Regulus and X! Regulus and X! <laughs> Finally, more X content! <laughs> I couldn't wait to know more about him. Okay. The Forest Express. To welcome the unexpected good luck, clean your chimney so it won't get stuck. <laughs> it rhymes, that's kind of cute. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Sorry about my hair, they are a bit... They are more of a mess than usual. <laughs> Alright, here Hello? are... 30 cans of Dr. Pepper, 20 bags of Happy Wedges, 11 bags of Bigfoot Gummy, and a bottle of insect repellent for plants. What? What does it... What? One of these things is not like the other, one of these things just doesn't belong. <laughs> um, um, okay, your diet is a disaster, but I won't comment on that because mine isn't great either. If it wasn't for my sister that makes me eat veggies, I'd be also a walking disaster. <laughs> just as he finishes the sentence, oh, I didn't read it. Good timing. If you say so, is this the... Yes, someone in the comments said maybe it's a little too late to say this, but the, the things, uh, the thing uh, in the um, in the left corner of, of the of the screen is actually the logs, <laughs> and I was like, oh, it's never too late. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your service. <laughs> um, just as he finishes the sentence, a heavy book falls through the chimney. Wait, waiting, waiting. I don't know how to read it. Sorry, landing in the fireplace. Up, there may be a bit of ash on them, but the flavor and texture should still be fine. Huh? So, was it expected? Oh, <coughs> oh my. <coughs> Are you okay? Were you near the chimney or in the chimney? The ash is killing me. That's way more than a bit. I can't just carry them with me in broad daylight. Do you know how many procedures I've gone through just to pay you a visit? Oh, damn. But how come you're locked in the same room? How come they like when has the Foundation become so benevolent? They would like Captain to guide me to the right path, oh. to join the Foundation. After all, Captain was already a member of them. Ooh. But he didn't try to do weird thingies with her. Yep. But I don't feel any difference in the benefits I get. At best, I could contact someone from the outside. And you're here. So, Texas Hold'em? <laughs> That's not what I'm here for. <laughs> what are you here for? I've shown you the storm records these years. So, did you find anything? Hmm. You call it a record. But it's so brief that it only has start time and duration. Wait, what else would it have? I can't tell any pattern from that. Hmm. This apple believes that the storm which happens randomly does not conform to the self-adjusting nature of the universe. Um, well, <laughs> checks out. Self-adjusting. Hmm. Oh. Is that the theory you mentioned before? Something like, there should be someone who intervenes or improves the system in order to reduce the growth of the instability of the universe? Wait, let me read it. There should be someone who intervenes or improves the system in order to reduce the growth of the instability of the universe. I still didn't get it. For example, if the universe is a mooring rope, no, a bunch of ropes. There has to be a sailor who pulls the ropes to keep them in order, or something. Um, okay. Sounds like the cosmology from now? centuries ago. But she is from centuries ago. 
No, not centuries back. <laughs> She's from decades ago. <laughs> he doesn't seem keen on the theory, nor does he repel it. He just quickly pins on his heel without saying a word. Spins, but sorry. Your metaphor reminds me of Madame Z's research on string theory. Oh! She advocates that the energy string is the most basic unit of the universe. Are you talking about Vertin's boss? Boss? <laughs> well, if that's your definition of immediate supervisor, then yes. It is! What does he this, if not a boss? <laughs> Madame Z was a scientist who studied in Britain before she joined the Foundation. Ooh, bread and honey are the staff of life. That makes sense. <laughs> well, it's not a good choice for most scientists. Okay. Recently, she has been promoted from the chief of the vice president's staff to a formal member of the committee. I guess she will spend even less time in the lab. Oh, I see, I see. What? Here they come! <laughs> a sudden violent bump comes from outside the door. Ugh. It's okay. It's friends. Wait, this doesn't sound friendly. <laughs> the whole building shakes. Did something hit it? Let me see. Three? Three monster? <laughs> a monster tree? <laughs> Hi! Oh, you're so pretty! This must be her second outfit! Fuck me, she's so beautiful! <clears throat> Looking out of the window, they see a giant oak cut down from its bottom, uh, leaning uh, on the hallway of the second floor. Among its evergreen branches stands a familiar figure in a black dress. A young teenager with a hat, wiggling and swaying on a branch follows her. Cuties! Summoned by a peculiar chanting, more and more trees grow up from the ground, stretch and spread in the air. Is that Druvus and Sotheby? Yep. <laughs> Are we okay with this? <laughs> we should be okay with this. He turns around looking serious. What's this? Guys? Oh? I am not going to be dragged into a ride at this point. Oh, you're not into it? <laughs> then... Is that I, I, maybe you should what leave. Happened to her? If you don't want the, the repercussion of all of this. Her new hairstyle is sort of cool. It's sort of? She's beautiful, how dare you? <laughs> Captain, it's not the point. It's not, it's not the point? Okay. <laughs> Agreed. Not the point at all. I gotta okay. go. If you want me to take part in such an event, my name should never be in the visitor log. <laughs> oh. He's so done. <laughs> I'm very sorry you were dragged into this, but I don't think anyone had a clue that this was going to happen. Looks you can like play the, the, whole the victim, will be maybe. Battlefield. Whoop. All right. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. Wait a He's minute. He's very chill about this, though. If we join Druvis, what would happen? <laughs> don't worry about it. What would happen? I'm not a prophet. But this is going to be the best spot for protest. You're not a prophet, but uh, I think logical deduction can get this far enough <laughs> to um, to kind of predict what's possibly going to happen. This building is the furthest one from the center of the foundation. I think foundation. she's asking for consequences. Well, the first and second floors not are material rooms and research offices. Few staff stay here. Oh, wait. Uh, furthest from the center of the foundation. Okay, I see. The room next to yours is the projection lab. It was used to control the slides projected in the lobby. That screen is gone now, but mm -hmm. the transfer devices and circuits are still there. Ooh, what are we going to do with those? You know what? If you're going to protest, make it loud. He's like, I don't want to be dragged into this, but uh, here are all the resources you need to make a catastrophe. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's been a long time since the Foundation had something this much fun. <laughs> He pulls out uh, the one sleeve in regular script uh, and quickly exits the room. Wee! My thumbnail! <laughs> is Burton having a fight with the Foundation? Um, similar enough. Yes. To a fight. <laughs> we have a disagreement with the Foundation, Miss Sotheby. Burton is seeking a limited freedom for us. Her aspiration is to restore the peaceful life before the storm. For the authorities, however, her aspiration and ambition are labeled as deviation and rebellion. 
We are thus tempted. It kind of are alienated, for them and arrested unjustly. Mhm. Mm That's why we've been grounded all these days. So we're helping Burton now. Is that right, Miss Dubis? Oh, I think I understand why he, he ex said that to um to Regulus. It's time for Radio Apple 2.0. <laughs> I think probably. <laughs> You're so brave. Right. On the tree. On the tree? We need to move forward. To move one step further. When we meet up with Regulus and Apple, our voices will be stronger, and more and more people will offer their help. I believe that when the day comes, we will be able to shake up the balance in the Foundation and tilt it to our side. In the meantime, what do we do? <laughs> because when the day comes, it doesn't seem very um, close to where we are at uh, in time. Shake up the balance. Wow. <laughs> Maybe Vashti will come back herself by then. I got it. Now my goal is to make more potions so the trees can grow larger and larger. Make them super large. Yes. This is going to be a protracted war of resistance. After we rescue Regulus, please maintain our territory of the woods with the rest of your potions, Miss Sotheby. Ooh, our territory. Amazing. Sure, I will economize on them. We are occupating, we are, we are occupating uh, the foundation. <laughs> they want to keep us in here, but they are, they are kept in here with us now. <laughs> Look, X is coming out of the room. <laughs> Bye. He left. It seems he has made his choice. Not helping us or them. Mm. Well, at least no one is getting hurt from the boiling pot this time. Let me see. <laughs> mm, there are more guards at the door now. It seems everyone's there. Perhaps they have guessed our next move. Regulus. Mm. Let's go. It's time to meet up with our companions. Yay! Go, go! Regulus must be bored to death just as I was. <laughs> Druby says it her wand. As the chant goes on, her hair has become increasingly glistening gold. So pretty. The Hulk march on wow. Sorry. <laughs> I never can read this in town. Incoming. Whoa! Incoming what? Sorry. Um, the oak marches on like waves. Their butt scales keep growing, extending, chasing, and overlapping each other. And their crowns uh, shoot forward like missiles. So cool, that's what it's incoming, okay. <laughs> Everyone, get ready to engage! Fight, fight, fight! A pity that I don't own any of the canon characters that are here. <laughs> Well, I oh I well I do have Regulus, but she's not exactly here here. Kind of here maybe. Okay, um maybe let's put someone that needs uh, uh, some friendship leveling here. I can't wait anymore. <laughs> Did I notice the hexagon? But he's six, so it makes sense that he's an hexagon. Okay, um, 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 um. and we're done. Yeah. Much naughtier than the foundation's kids. Okay, yum yum. The pirate's declaration. Ooh, yes! Look at that. It's a uh, it's Apple Radio or Radio Apple, but uh, with visual. <laughs> <clears throat> um, don't cut off power so quickly, silly. You missed that song. <laughs> wow, it's a story thing. It's zero. Ah, um, mama, mama. Zero, zero currency points. I don't know how to, how to call it. Fire's declaration. Damn, this will, this will be so cool. <laughs> the reception is confirming the name list just submitted by the House of Integratus. The vice president is coming her way. It's her to see her picking up the files herself. But as the daily agenda tracker shows, the chance of the vice president asking for this name list is 85%. Do we have the candidate's name list? And it's show what? it to me. Yes. Please wait a minute. It'll be prepared right away. That's right. Thanks to the invention designed by Laplace or Laplace, 
scientific computing center um, everything here is highly controllable, efficient and has logic within the fingers of the receptionist lightly percuss the keyboard she will be able to locate the files faster than ever suddenly she freezes um, why is the light on? <gasps> it's time! With a horrible prediction in her mind, she, hesitate, she hesitantly sorry, turns to the wall with an open mouth and round eyes. Ah, it is war! <laughs> the floating apple has declared war! An apple shows up in the blurry projection under such a poor resolution. It's a waff! I can't read, I can't read. A sentence in a cuckoo. Wah. This is war! I can't read anything else. Warning! Warning! Everybody oh, listen up! We have taken over this the foundation. Ball. Our <laughs> demands are release us, set Bertin free. Uh, yeah. We have three days. After that, we are. What? Well, but after that, what? The lobby, which uh, sees people striding in and talking off all the time, now freezes in that silence. Let me read the rest. A gigantic projection appears on the wall. An apple shows up in the blurry projection. Under such poor resolution, it looks like a massive red alert. <laughs> a sentence in a crooked font emerge beneath the pixel... No, the giant pixel apple. <laughs> the words are glaring. This is war. Okay, this is what Regul says. Uh, the receptionist cut off the power, terrified. Madam, I... I didn't. I. I hope What's she's the matter? I hope she's Something not in trouble with the printer. She is faking ignorance. No, no. Oh, right. Uh, the candidate name list. Wow, Here you are. Somehow this is carrier. She passes on the name list with a pale face. Thank you. This is exactly what I need. What? Constantine casts a quick look at the wall. The source of the disturbance has gone. Sorry for the scene. Like others here, they also have the right to make their voices heard. It is the essential step for us to come to an agreement. I see. We will take care of this, don't worry. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know, I don't want this to be taken care of. From you. <laughs> she smiles. As she does so, the people around her are visibly relieved and stored to life. However, perhaps we should stop using the old projector. It may lead to accidents, don't you think? Ah, uh, so unbothered. I'll remove the transfer devices now. Be safe, girl. <laughs> she jumps up on her feet and salutes her. Constantine turns around and leaves. Okay, as long as the clerk is fine. <laughs> oh, bloody hell! How dare they cut off the power! <laughs> this pirate has so much left to declare. It's fine, we'll just show them. Wimps, cowards, hypocrites! <laughs> I love the forest. Here, here! I can't agree more. It is very to hang up before others finish their words. <laughs> this is not telephone, Miss Sotheby. <laughs> kind of. But of course, that's not one way. <laughs> no matter what, we've communicated to them the most crucial requirements for negotiation. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they will respond to us properly. I just want to take the chance to show our attitude. Taking over the radio station at the headquarters of the Foundation, it's a gas in the late hundreds of years. <laughs> It would have been perfect if we could have another You Can't Win to close it out. We could look around here to see if there's other broadcasting equipment. Good idea. However, this apple does not recommend frequent provocation. Why not? Right now, it's more important to patrol the surroundings in case we are ambushed by the guards. Valid? Oh, so, so we are not... It's good, actually, if they don't take us seriously, so we can expand uh, a little more uh, silently. <laughs> Not so silent. Miss Truvis is forming Abatis alone downstairs. Perhaps she needs our help. Mm. Fine, you have she a point. Should, she should have eyes everywhere in her forest, though. So maybe she got it. 
Tu côté de quoi This pirate has decided to put off the plan to liberate the foundation. Almost relook reluctantly, sorry, she forces herself to stop looking at the radio. Besides forming abatis, what else do we need to do? There's much to be done, Captain. Find water sources, transfer essential equipment, reserve enough food, set up multiple defenses in the woods. Can't we grow fruit? Oh, wait, apple can't eat fruit, I think. <laughs> and arrange a duty schedule. What Make sure someone eat? is garrisoned outside the suitcase. While others are resting inside. Hmm. Well, I have the tomato and potato seeds from Ms. Druvis. We must plant them in the suitcase to guarantee food supply. Yeah. Um, tomato and potato? Yeah. All vegetables, no meat? Oh, potatoes are good enough for carbs. Bacon. <laughs> carbs um, have energy in them, and also you have. Uh, some of your snacks. I hope you didn't eat all of them. <laughs> when I was wandering the seas, at least I could have a grilled sea bass every day. Well, <sighs> I wonder what Vertin eats in rehab. Will she be hungry? Oh, good point. Does she eat? Does she just have, like, um, how do you call it? An IV? Oh, yikes. Almost forgot about the goodies X sent. Can he send more? I guess that would be taking uh, taking um, sides though. We'll definitely hang in, in there for a few more days with them. Sotheby, Mr. Apple, you go downstairs first. I'll meet up with you once I bring the box down there. Yes, ma'am. All right, we will meet oh. you at the entrance. Stay safe. I almost put my fingers on the wasp, <laughs> uh, like I was gonna walk anywhere. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Fun. I love more rebellion. <laughs> okay, we'll do a last one. Anything she left behind. You are surrounded by the clerks. Maybe they didn't catch your words just now. Say it out. Out loud? Out? Out. Sorry, I didn't read it properly actually. <laughs> um, okay. Let me just get my Alright. Can I? Just one yes. thing. I will Ooh. be home by 10 p.m. You are weaker, but you're also over leveled, so I'm not worried. <gasps> Ooh, definitely not worried. Bloody prop! We need some peaceful moments. Benefit from reading. The ocean dried and I'm alone again. <laughs> hmm. Somebody in the comments said something about eternity being very vampire like, but she has a jellyfish a jellyfish uh, first. Uh, and jellyfish are also very immortal, la immortal like thingies. So, she's probably a mix. <laughs> a vampire jellyfish. I, <laughs> I shouldn't talk. <laughs> you have made your voice heard. You have made your point known. Complete! Oh my! Snacks of the new era and the rocking pirate. Uh, yogurt? Bullets? Pink yogurt from Michigan, which pops out like a bullet. Not so good as I thought it would be, but does feel novel. Hmm, well, hmm, 5.6 out of 10. K and K? <clears throat> oatmeal breakfast bar. Actually a candy bar with little oatmeal. Not bad, I give it an 8. Oh, I don't know how to read this. K, -K -Gel Gelson? Uh, Logger cookies? Known for the rich butter within. It has a rough flavor of the logger style, which is exactly the opposite of the royal style. I don't know what this means. Is this the menu? <laughs> what they can eat <laughs> while in the forest? What does logger style mean? What a mood. <laughs> dry as sawdust? Are they rich in butter? How are they dry as sawdust if they are rich in butter? Anyway, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'll put in on the prohibited the list of my ship and it's never getting removed <laughs> one out of ten potatato I see face chips face chips there are kinds of facial expressions I may look I may look the same when deep fried too many crumbs can taste the flavor of potato barbecue with mustard Mustard flavored. 
Acceptable 4.5. Cheetahs, cheetahs. Amazing seeds. Buffed snack. Cheese surin surname? Suriname? Toad gem flavored. When your product is buried in soil, in soil but can't grow into anything after three days of watering. <laughs> I see. 24 times in total, by the way. You'd better not uh, put the word seed in its name. Zero. Check out this big zero. <laughs> okay, she's not very satisfied with the menu, I guess. <laughs> okay. Oh. Who is this? This should be Madame Z. Don't know this, don't know this. Who has this kind of hair? A mystery. <laughs> um, both sides of the table. Divide a circle into half. Each curve has its own direction. Okay. Still just plot. There is no need to hold an emergency meeting for this. For this? What's happening with the trees? Such I declaration think... of war without tactic or plan B is typical example of arcanist's behavior. Ooh. The area they controlled has no value at all, no matter in terms of the Will size you, or the influence. The suitcase is in there, though. Well, the administration department has not taken official actions yet. You have a face, and it's pretty. I heard the plan was to dispatch a team to escort them to the School of Discipline. Oh. Problem solved, then. If you can catch them, it's, it's solved. Okay, so nobody's taking that seriously. This is good. The books of case files are closed. As the chairs squeak squeakily scratch the floor, the attendants of the meeting stand up. Next time, if Verdin brings back more unregistered arcanists. Yes. Will the same thing happen again? Good point. Madame Z stands still where she was. The committee member stops by the door and slowly turns back to her. I don't understand. You also have a face and a sprite. Wow. It's not a shame to join the Foundation, is it? Is it? By signing the agreement, Arcanists will enjoy the right to use arcane skills in human society and be bestowed great honor. The Human Resource Department could have used the whole floor to hold the applications a dozen years ago. But they could join and still be with Bertin. You don't get the point. The point is, why are we... Well, I think the point of Madame Z is if we keep doing this with Bertin like this, People will keep rebelling. Not even the New Age movement could challenge the Foundation's authority in the international community. And these short-sighted exceptions, they aren't even worth being made a topic for the meeting. Will they be exceptions? Yet? How do you know that? Yet? <laughs> they are not here for the Sempavdo Foundation. They're here for Verton. They mm -hmm. choose to follow her out of their own will. Great because point. of their admiration for her. That is the essential difference between them and our former recruits. You mean, it's not important at so all pretty. for them to join the Foundation? It means that, uh, yes, she means that, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm afraid so. But we can't expel them. We both know that the Foundation now requires new members to form a stronger force. We are so smart. What are you trying to say, Miss Z? Skip to the point. She returns to her seat, sits down, and opens the folder again. Today, the House of Intergratas has resubmitted a revised draft of Storm Reformation, Manpower and Discipline. And what's that? Manpower and Discipline? I think it's time to decide if this draft can be adopted, and then start the debate. You are asking for troubles, madam. And I love that about her. <laughs> Please turn to page 21, section 3. She's not even giving them a choice. <laughs> and they are just following. I don't think they have a... External an personnel recruited maybe. by the timekeeper should be placed within the timekeeper's department. Oh, Wait, but who is the House of Integratus? And 
they are they seem to be on her side. The timekeeper has the duties of education and discipline to them and should be responsible for their call up behaviors. This is so good. <laughs> we it's a bit too good. <laughs> Personnel within the timekeeper's department, subject to the foundation staff code, will take orders from the timekeeper and are not required to take direct orders from the foundation. Ooh. This section allows those unregistered arcanists to have more autonomy and develop a stronger sense of identity as a part of the foundation. But if you start giving arcanists more autonomy, won't the people outside her army want that autonomy too? This is kind of unfair just because they happen to be more unruly and only follow Bertin. And they are less desperate. Well, it's not that they are not desperate. It's that they are not desperate to join the foundation. They are desperate to be with Bertin because she is their... Um, how do you say salvagente in English? <laughs> their floating device. Not floating device. It's not floating device. Life... Li not lifeguard. Their floater. I don't think it's floater either. Anyway. <laughs> This is gonna start a problem too, I Meanwhile, think. Meanwhile, by giving orders to the timekeeper, the foundation still has the military right to deploy them. Mm hmm Okay. It can solve the current problem. It's a lot of autonomy, it's scary for them. Which means we will be working with some uncontrollable mercenaries. Mm. Good point. I say it's the reserve service for wartime. Oh! Great solution! It's not going to work. <laughs> What happened when the Arcanists were not under control? Massacres, tyranny, endless revenge. History is nothing but a sewer to them, where they vent their excessive energy and deceive those in power with a speech of ignorance. Can I have the, like, source for, for, this, uh, for this statement, please? Because I don't know the history, and as of now, the history I know of uh, says something like uh, something about the arcanists being discriminated like the like a witch hunt so i didn't know this part <laughs> the reality has proven that exactly what's more there has never been a reform as such in the history of the foundation there has never been a need to reform the unexpected storm reforming in a rush will only increase the right oh wasn't it? Oh, Sorry God. for being late. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck me. Wasn't she right into the meeting room, throwing her folder on the table? She's not She's not pleased at all. <laughs> Quite a heated discussion. I can see you all have a great interest in this draft proposal. Hope I didn't miss too much. It's only chapter 8. Someone told me it's 24 chapter. It's not gonna be this easy. So scary. He's so scary. <laughs> She's such a bitch too! <laughs> oh my god, she's scary and I have reasons to be scared of her. <laughs> oh! Okay, give me the goodies. Nom nom! I have so many pulls. I'm ready to pull again. <laughs> um, okay, but for today I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna post twice this week, Reverse 1999. Um... Uh, because uh, last week uh, I couldn't post, so you get in a double episode, uh, and also a double episode of uh, Onkey Star Rail if I manage to. I should manage to, uh, also because uh, now I have more time to record, so I should uh, not uh, be super late uh, when I'm late. <laughs> if I'm late it's because I have to edit it and export it, and also my internet still sucks. <laughs> my internet sucks so much that Sometimes it takes more than seven hours to do an upload and if I don't have time to um, edit a longer video until the last second, it means that I'm not going to sleep <laughs> to see it get uploaded. <laughs> but um, um, I am super happy that I will have more time because next month I'm also starting a new game. Um, if you want to know more news about uh, weekly uploads, monthly uploads uh, and uh, any delay I will ever have in posting, <laughs> you can check my community tab here on YouTube. Um, um, I post a lot. <laughs> it's fun. I like to interact. <laughs> uh, but for today I'm gonna stop here. Thank you so much for watching. If you feel like it, subscribe and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye!